build me a landing page for my new SaaS. Wow, okay. As someone who managed the web development agency, I hate that I'm doing this now, but it's so good that you guys have to try it out. You don't even have to have a technical background. You could be a project manager working with a team of engineers and you just want to skip the back and forth feedback cycles of death. Long story short, say you're a web developer or a project manager or whoever, and you're launching your next product. Now, obviously at some point you're going to need to build a landing page for this product. Usually this takes maybe a couple of days if you're doing it manually, but using this tool, how about you build it? and say five seconds check this out build me a landing page for my new SaaS. okay that's just crazy i know that chat gpt and other models can generate working code but to see it like this is something else these tools that we now have are just I mean, this is the worst version of this tool, OpenUI, right? The next one is only going to be better. I'm going to say we're missing a navbar. That's just beautiful. It just added the to-do app here, the title, and we have our navbar. So we have home features, screenshots, contact. Not only that, but it's also responsive. Okay, so we have desktop view, tablet view, and mobile view. So if we check what it looks like on mobile by clicking on this button, we can see that everything works as expected. We didn't even write a single line of code. Okay, so I'm gonna fix the hamburger menu here because it doesn't look like it exists. So we can go back to this input and type the burger menu doesn't work on mobile. Make sure it does. And that's it. As you can see, it's regenerating everything. Fantastic. Now we have this icon here. If we click on it, we can see our menu and it works perfectly on mobile. So I'm going to go back to the desktop view and I'm going to customize some specific elements. So if we scroll down to the footer, we can see that it's kind of boring. And this button lets us choose specific components within the view. So I'm going to choose the footer like this. And then it's asking me, how do you want to change this? Or how do you want this to change? I'm going to say this is a bit boring make it stand out please okay that's awesome now we have this beautiful gradient and it definitely does stand out i think it adjusted the structure a bit so anyway it does look good i'm happy with it i'm just gonna keep it all right so far everything is super nice the only downside that i see here is that open ui is regenerating everything when i make any change even if i selected a specific area like i did with the footer it's kind of inefficient so you have to keep an eye on your open ai bill since that's gonna eat away from your precious dollars just keep this in mind now i'm using gpt 4.0 behind the scenes and uh, you can specify other models to use you can go to the settings and then you can change the model here let's do a quick roundup of other features that are available on the ui then i'll show you how you can set up open ui on your machine all right so at the bottom of the screen we have these down arrows and if we click on them we can see the generated html if you want to convert that to react for example you can use this button here and then choose react now there are other options as you can see on the right side we have a share button a download button which is going to let you download a copy of this html to your desktop and then a copy button if you want to grab a copy and paste it somewhere okay now at the top we have a light and dark switch mode that's cool and we have a chat history button, which is going to show you a log of the conversation, including the source code changes that we have based on the conversation that we've had with the large language model. Now, finally, on the left sidebar here, we can create a new conversation by clicking on this button. And then if we hover over a previous conversation, we can see the three dots here. We can delete or copy the conversation. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to show you how you can easily set this up on your machine so that you can get started. All right, so all we need to do is clone the repo, GitHub, open UI. Next, we're gonna CD into open UI backend, and then we're gonna run Python, minus M, VN, VM. You can call your environment, whatever you want. In this case, we're just gonna call it VM, and then we're gonna activate. So we do source, VN, VIN, activate. Then I'm gonna do pip install dot, so that's going to take a few seconds, but it's going to install all the dependencies and everything needed to run open UI.
Okay, we're just going to grab our OpenAI key from the OpenAI console and we're going to do export OpenAI API key and then you're going to paste your key here. By the way, if you want to use Olama or other local large language models, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to dive deeper into OpenUI. Okay, so we're going to run this Python M OpenUI. You can see UVCorn is now running on this URL. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it in our browser. Super. As you can see, we're back where we started. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you. Remember, though, it's not perfect. And while we're just getting started, you can just imagine what this would be like in a few years from now. Um, I say years at the pace that these technologies are moving, maybe saying in the next few months would be more suitable. In this demo, we've done a full landing page example, but you can build standalone components like a navbar or anything else that you can think of. Personally, I'm going to keep experimenting with OpenUI for the stuff that I'm working on, especially for my blog, gettingstarted.ai. And if you remember there, you might see some new components popping up soon. I'd love to know if you have questions. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.